Hello and welcome back to the Crispies Racing Blog. I'm going to talk about my time at Sutton Elms for the Rugby Cart Club's glorified event with the Motor TV crew. Uh, the event was a 35 minute sprint race or feature race if you want to talk about GP2 where the top four drivers from each class would make it to a grand final and would find fame and glory, trophies and interviews which made it all the more interesting. Me and Sutton Elms do not get on at all. Um, my debut there was two P3s for the Rugby Cart Club but from then on I've never really got to grips with the track and I really don't like it but I persevere and continue as a driver should. So in the five laps of qualifying in the incredibly odd damp conditions I managed to to push on and get stuck in qualifying about P5 out of 12 which wasn't looking likely as it got stuck behind a driver and Sutton itself is tiny and really meant I had to do a pretty good dive bomb to get past the driver in front which when I did I did take off a few tenths so pretty impressed to qualify P5 out of 12 with a lot of cop car drivers who who I found out today have all recently taken on some championships so to be in the midfield of that kind of a group really made me think that I'd done quite well actually not bad. Although in the race, uh, lap one, as always, is interesting, especially a track so tight as it's pretty much an indoor track. So barreling into turn one from a two wide rolling start, it's kind of like hitting an IndyCar race, which is always fun. I got bundled out of the way uh, from turn two and was way offline for the majority of the first lap and was running 10th for a while and really took a while for me to, to get calmed and push on from there. When I did, I managed to find myself crawling through the field again and as the rain actually came down harder, the lead block that we'd put underneath me, the five kilo lead block, really made all the difference and I managed to start catching up and actually taking it to the drivers in front. For a while I got back up to a big fight from fourth all the way to eighth Unfortunately, there wasn't much I could do as the drivers in front were like two, three wide at times. And I just sort of let them get on with it and bided my time trying to slot in. Did make a few pretty good moves, which on a damp track, and I really don't like racing in a damp part. I think I came away with quite some, some good confidence from that. Unfortunately, the rain then stopped and the cart just, there was no balance on it at all. And I find myself way out offline trying so many different lines it just wasn't working in the end I think I frustrated myself in the end so I finished seventh out of 12 I think I could have probably got into the final had I just maintained fourth and not been bundled out of the way but that's what happens in the wet and I was just in the wrong place wrong time can't complain too much it was a good learning experience I took a lot away from it especially in the wet, so it was a good way to end my last race on an outdoor track. Now it's time to concentrate on the British Rental Championship 2017. I've got a practice session at Formula Fast in two weeks time and two weeks after that a one-to-one -one driver coaching session. So I hope I can take a lot away from that too and possibly be in the midfield of the races for the BRKC. Anything can happen. Lots of hopes. Let's see how I get on. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.